Algebra 1, number 4.5b, we're talking about inequalities, and we're going to talk about how to solve inequality word problems in this video. So now we know that there are clue words in word problems that can help us to write inequalities to solve them. We talked about this in the previous video, and there'll be a link to that video in this one's description in case you want to go back and see it if you missed it. We'll need to write an inequality instead of an equation if we see phrases such as this is more than, is less than, is it most, is it least, is as much as, is as much as or more or less, is it least or more, or at, at least or less. And these are the signs that will go along with these phrases. Okay, we talked about that in the last video. And this is very important that it says is up here, and I'll show you why. You have to be really, really careful. If it says three more than nine, that means three plus nine. And if it says x more than 9, it means x plus 9. But when is it an inequality? Ah, when x is more than 9. So instead of just 3 more or x more, it says x is. And it's a variable. Because this is a variable and the word is is there, it becomes an inequality. x is more than 9 means x is greater than 9. Because we ask ourselves, can there be more than 9? It just says x is some amount more than 9. See? So yeah, it could be. Does it include 9? Nope, not in this one. So it's not a greater than or equal to. All right? So we have to ask ourselves, can we use a variable to take the place of an unknown amount? Are there other amounts that depend on the value of that variable? Like, is it a variable and then two times a variable? Will we write an equation or an inequality? So we need to know these before we start, okay? So let's take a look at this first one. If a baby elephant is 200 pounds at birth, then gains two pounds per day for its first year, how many days is it gonna take until it weighs at least 450 pounds? Now it doesn't say it has to weigh 450, it says at least 450 pounds. So it could weigh more than that, couldn't it? That tells us it's an, it's an inequality. So we think, what do we need to find? We need to find how many days for a baby elephant to weigh 450 pounds. What info do we have? That it's 200 pounds at birth and it's going to gain 2 pounds per day. So we can write an inequality. We're going to let d equal days and 2d equal the 2 pounds per day. So now our inequality can be written as 200, that's the pounds that it was at birth, plus 2d, 2 pounds per day, is going to be greater than 450 because remember it has to be at least 450 so it could be more than 450. So this amount can be greater than 450, right? So it could be equal to, couldn't it? We could have done this and put a line underneath it, right? All right, so now we're going to use the addition property of inequality to add or subtract the same amount from each side to create a zero pair, and we do. We use the 200. We're going to get rid of this 200 and create a zero pair by subtracting 200 from each side. Now we've got 450 minus 200 is 250, and on this side our 2d drops down. Now we can use the multiplication property of inequality to multiply the reciprocal, the upside down version of the coefficient to each side to create a 1 in front of the variable. 2 can be 2 over 1, so upside down, its reciprocal is 1 half. We multiply each side by 1 half, and we get 2 over 2d on this side, and we get 250 over 2 on this side. 250 divided by 2 is 125, so d is greater than 125, or equal to, right? Because it said it has to be at least that, so it could be that or more. So now we know that it's going to take at least 125 days or more for the baby elephant to weigh 450 pounds. Okay? See how that happened? All right, let's take a look at this one with cats. A medium cat weighs one pound more than a small cat. A large cat weighs two pounds more than the small cat. If the total weight of the three cats is at most 24 pounds, what's the most the small one can weigh? So we think, what do we need to find? the most the small cat can weigh. What info do we have? Well, this looks like a consecutive integer problem. The medium is one pound more than the small, and the large one is two pounds more than the small. These amounts depend on the small amount. They're dependent variables. So we can write an equality, inequality, using the fact that these are dependent variables. 
So S can be the small one, and because the medium one depends on the small one to be one pound more, it could be small plus one. The large one depends on the small one because it's two pounds more, so it's small plus two. See? We've got our consecutive integer problem. Now, we put a less than or equal sign because they can't weigh more than 25 pound, 24 pounds, but they might weigh 24 pounds. See, is at most 24 pounds. So it could weigh 24, but not any more than that, because that's the most. That's the cutoff. See? Now we need to find out how much the small one is. So now we can write this as the small one plus the medium one, which is small plus one, and the large one, small plus two, is less than or equal to 24 pounds. We combine the like terms, and we've got one, two, three S's in the orange, and we've got in the green, a one and a two makes a three, so we've got three S plus three is less than or equal to 24. Now we use the addition property of inequality to add or subtract the same amount from each side to create a zero pair. We create a zero pair right here, don't we? We eliminate that three. And on this side, on the right side, we've got a 21. 24 minus three is 21. Now, we use the multiplication property of inequality to multiply the reciprocal of the coefficient, the upside down fraction version of this coefficient, to each side to create a one in front of the variable. So, this is technically three over one, isn't it? And that's 21 over 1. So we've got 3 over 3s is less than or equal to 21 over 3, which simplifies to a 7. So we know the small one is at most 7 pounds or equal to 7 pounds. See that? Now we also could have done this. When we were at the 3s is less than or equal to 21, we could have just divided both sides by the coefficient. Instead of multiplying it and using that multiplication property of inequality, a quicker version would be to just divide both sides by this coefficient, which is a good thing to do to go fast. If this is not a fraction, if it's a whole number, just divide both sides by the coefficient, and you're going to get s is less than or equal to 7 much faster. See? And you skip a couple steps. So if the small cat is less or equal to 7, and the medium is one pound more, then the medium is less or equal to eight. And if the large one is two pounds more than the small, then the large is less or equal to nine. We add the seven, eight, and nine, and we get 24. So at most, 24 pounds, so it works, see? Because at most it was 24 pounds, and we came up with 24. Now, do you know why eight is afraid of seven? It's a very old joke. Because seven, eight, nine... Oh, bad jokes. Okay, we're going to move on to our next video, and we're going to talk about deductive reasoning, okay? That's going to be 4.5c. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.